Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro and today I'll be showing you how to install a data pack that adds furniture into your game. That's right, you can now decorate your home in Minecraft with no mods. Firstly, I'll be showing you an overview of the items you can get in this data pack but later on I'll be showing you how to get it working on your server. It's important to note though that you'll need to have the required resource pack enabled in order to see all the textures properly. Apart from that, the first thing you have to do is obtain the custom crafting table needed to craft the items in this data pack. You can do this by throwing a crafting table on top of a barrel. Then using that crafting table you can craft anything you want in this data pack. To be able to see all the recipes for the items included, the creators have made a wiki page for you to navigate through. On that wiki page, you'll be able to scroll down to whatever item you want in your game and simply click on it to reveal the recipe. If you're interested in that, the link will be in the description. There are so many furniture items for your bedroom, such as a ton of different beds and bed colours, a ton of bedside cabinet variations, a variety of desk types, there are also several items you can craft for your bathroom, such as a bath, a sink, a toilet and a washing machine. Not just that, but you can have a fully functional kitchen with refrigerators, toasters, microwaves, stoves, pans and so much more. Lastly, you can spice up your home by crafting other decorative items such as lamps, couches and trash bins. This data pack includes so many more furniture items, so we recommend trying out this pack on a server with some friends to get the full experience. Firstly, you can use the link in the description to get to the official download page. Scroll down to where it says download, then click it and press continue. It should redirect you to this page. We recommend downloading this main file at the top since it's for the latest version. You can do that by pressing download and waiting a couple seconds for the file to be downloaded. However, if you want another version, simply go back to this files page. Scroll down and look for the version you want there. Afterwards, extract the zip file in order to get the data pack and required resource pack zips. Then, to make the next step easier, make sure you move these files to a place where you can easily access. For example, your desktop. Firstly, you're going to have to go to the server.pro website and access your server control panel from there. At the dashboard, make sure that the server version matches the data pack version you downloaded to ensure no complications. For example, if you downloaded the main file, make sure it says 1.17.1 here. Before proceeding to the next step, quickly confirm that the server is offline. Afterwards, head over to the worlds tab. Here is where you're going to create a brand new world. You can set your world name and adjust world settings as usual, but you'll also see a button below labelled Upload Data Packs. Simply click the Select Files button and then navigate to the area where you saved the Furniture Data Pack zip to. Once you've found it, press Open and Create World. It'll take a second for the files to upload, but when that's done, you should go into the Files tab. If you see a new folder with the name you set it as and it has the data pack zip inside, it means you have officially uploaded the data pack onto your server. Alternatively, if you'd rather add it to your current world, I'll be showing you a simple way on how to do that. All you have to do is head back to your files tab, open your world folder and then the data packs folder. Afterwards, just drag the furniture data pack zip inside. When it's done uploading, simply restart the server to make sure everything runs smoothly. And that's it, it's as easy as that. Now that the data pack is uploaded onto the server, you'll have to make sure the required resource pack is also installed. To do that, you'll want to head back to the files tab. Then open up the server.properties file and look for the line saying resource pack. After the equals, you want to right click and paste the link to that required resource pack. We ourselves have uploaded that file to our Dropbox, so if you'd like you can use our link, it'll be in the description. Alternatively though, you can upload the resource pack to any website that supports creations of hotlinks, and then put your own hotlink into the server.properties file. Before continuing though, make sure to press save file to confirm the changes, then you can head back to your server dashboard. Here you should restart the server to ensure the resource pack loads in properly and then you can copy the host name. You should then paste it into the multiplayer section of Minecraft in order to join your server. 
Upon joining, you should be prompted with this resource pack pop-up. All you have to do is press yes for the pack to appear in game. And that's it, you're all set up to play. Well that's it for this video, if you have any questions make sure to leave them down below and if you enjoyed this video subscribe to see more from my channel. Thank you for watching!